I found this replica of the earth at Barnes and Noble. And I made this replica of myself standing in Montana on earth. And I couldn't find a replica of the moon. So I made this one myself. And I hope it looks like the moon to you. I painted the far side of the moon black because I don't know what the far side of the moon looks like because we can't see it from earth. We can only see this side. And in this episode, I'm gonna tell you why. Hello, and welcome to the program, Sula's Big Adventures with me, Sula. In this episode, I will explain why we can never see the far side of the moon from Earth. I'm making this episode at the request of one of the viewers, Eric. Not the Eric that asked me to make the episode about Venus recently. First of all, some people call the far side of the moon the dark side. But since it's not dark, it's just that we can't see it, I will call it instead the far side of the moon. Sorry, Pink Floyd. The moon has orbited around the Earth millions of years, and during that time, since the Earth is so much larger than the moon, the moon's rotation on its own axis has slowed down such that it takes the moon the same amount of time to make one full rotation on its axis as it takes to go around the Earth in a phenomenon known as tidal locking. Hence, the same portion of the moon always faces the Earth and we can never see the far side of the moon unless we take a rocket into space like the Soviet Luna spacecraft did in 1959. And it took pictures of the far side of the moon. But wait, there's more. The far side of the moon is not exactly 50% of the moon's surface due to libration. Libration is the wavering of the moon as seen from Earth, and it causes us to see parts of the moon at the edge of the disk that are otherwise not visible from Earth. Libration is caused by the elliptical nature of the moon's orbit and the moon's tilt relative to the orbit of the Earth. So now you know the reason we can never see the far side of the moon from Earth. It's due to tidal locking, whereby the rotation of the moon on its own axis equals the amount of time it takes to go around the Earth. And by the way, NASA is planning to launch Artemis III mission in 2025 and send humans back to the moon for the first time in over 50 years. They will be visiting the lunar south pole. And if all goes well, one of the astronauts, Christine Cook, will be the first woman ever to go to the moon. That's it for now. I'll see you soon. Until then, get outside and enjoy the night sky. Dark skies forever. Sula, signing off. Whoa, are those lights bright.